Hello students, this is Mrs. Williams from Legacy High and I am bringing another example of the work that you will be asked to complete. This time we are studying angle bisectors. So here's the definition. I know it's kind of hard to see but listen as I read along. Definition, a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Okay, so if ray XZ is an angle bisector this is the ray we're talking about. Remember, a ray has a definite starting point and continues indefinitely. Is an angle bisector of angle WXY. Then name the two congruent angles. So when we bisect, we divide this into two equal parts. We could call this angle 1. We could call this angle 2. So what are the two angles? Well, the two angles would be, congruent angles would be angle WXZ. Also, we can name this as angle ZXW, as long as that X is in the middle, and angle 1. Okay, the second, this one would be angle uh, ZXY or angle Y, X, Z, or angle 2. So this first set is congruent to the second set, and we say that they are congruent. This set 1 is congruent to set 2. Now, let's look at some questions that you will be asked about an angle bisectors and solving problems with that. So let's look at problems one and two on the worksheet. So it says for numbers one through five, EF bisects angle DEG. The diagrams are not drawn to scale. Okay, so I have a little sample here, here, excuse me. And number one says if the measure of angle DEG is equal to 88, find the measure of angle FEG. Well, I'm going to work something similar to that. So what if the measure of the measure of DEG were 100? So what do we have there? We have the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2, but the measure of angle 3, the total, is 100. But you know that these have to be equal, so you really have 100 divided by 2. Okay, so if this one were x, and this one were x, this angle, the, the second angle were x, then x plus x equals 100, and 2x is equal to 100, x is equal to 50. So each one of those would be 50. Now let's look at the second problem. On this problem, it says FED is 27. Well, I'm going to work something similar. Let's say that F, E, D is 30. Okay? This is the measure of angle 1. This is the measure of angle 2. And the measure of angle 3 is what they're asking me about. <clears throat> what is G, E, D? Okay? So, if this is X, well, if this one is well, we already know that this one has to be 30 degrees. And so the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 <clears throat> is going to be what we're looking for. And that would be 30 plus 30 is equal to x. 60 is equal to x. So in other words, when you're given one of the angles and when you have a bisector, you're going to double. When you're given the larger angle, you're going to divide by 2. Now I want you to work numbers 1 and 2.
Okay, so for problems three, four, and five, we're going to look at problem three. And what we're given, we're given the same figure, but we're told that angle DEF, DEF, is equal to 3x plus 1. But the measure of angle F, uh, no, let's see, DEG, so DEG is going to be 5x. Nineteen. So, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is going to be equal to the measure of angle 3. All I'm going to do is sub in. The measure of angle 1 is going to be 3x plus 1. The measure of angle 2 is going to be the same because I know that this is a bisector. So, this is also 3x plus 1. The measure of angle 3 is 5x plus 19. 6x plus 2 is equal to 5x plus 19. Subtract 5x. x plus 2 is equal to 19. Let's move this up a little bit. And I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. X is equal to 17. Okay, so when we come back up, let's see what we were asked to find. On this one, we said if we were only to find the value of X. And the value of X is 17. You are done with that problem. Now, I'll take that back. Number 4 and 5 are similar. So I'm going to set this one up. Uh, let's look at number four, and you can work out number five. On number four, we're given that the measure of angle DEF is 5x minus 3. I'm going to call this angle one. The measure of angle FEG, which I'm going to call angle two, is 2x plus 15. They don't give me a degree measure, but what I know is if this is a bisector, these two are equivalent. So I have 5x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 15. And this is what I'm going to solve. So sometimes they will give you the total, and then you will sub in for measure of angle 1 plus a measure of angle 2 is equal to measure of angle 3. But if you're dealing with an angle bisector, you need to realize that the two parts, so the two angles, smaller angles, are equivalent. And sometimes you will be asked to work that kind of problem. So subtract 2x. 2x, that would be uh, 3x minus 3 is equal to 15. Add 3. 3x is equal to 18. And x is equal to 6. Okay? So the problem says that we are asked to find the value of x here. And the value of x is 6. We are done. Okay, so on the back side, there are 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four additional problems. So let's, let's sum everything up. The bottom line is when you're working these kind of problems, you're going to have two scenarios. One of those is where you're only going to be given values for the measure of angle 1 or expressions for the, the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2. Set those equal to each other. At other times, you're going to be told something about the larger angle, okay, the big angle. In that case, you can set it up. The measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 3. You have to decide which situation uh, you're being presented with. Okay, so let's look at number 6. If the measure of angle ABX is 5X and the measure of XBC is 3X plus 10, I'm given the two, uh, well, I'm given the two smaller ones, 
but really I'm asked to find the third one, but really this is all the information that I'm given. So we want to do this. I name this one, name this one two, and I'm going to do the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle two and just set those equal to each other. Now you saw that and you'll have your answer. And then you can go back in and figure out what these individual angle measures are. And of course, you want to know the measure of the total. So you want to add those up. I'm looking for the red angle. So I'm going to do that by subbing my value in here. Okay, so when we look at the second one, we're given that angle ABC. So measure of angle one, measure of angle two, is equal to the measure of angle 3. So ABC being the big angle is 4X minus 12. The measure of ABX is 24. Well, if the angle of, if the measure of angle ABX is 24, and this being the bisector, ray BX, then we also know that the second angle also has a measure of 24. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 3. Angle 3 being 4x minus 12, and these being 24 plus 24. That would be the equation that you're solving. Okay, and number 8, the measure of angle ABC. ABC, so ABC being tw uh, the, the big angle, that would be my third, this being number one, this being number two. So angle ABC is 4X plus 16, and CBX is 3X plus 6. Well, I'm told about the big angle, not the two smaller ones, but I do know that these are congruent. So we have 3x plus 6. So you have 3x plus 6 plus 3x plus 6 or 2 times 3x plus 6. And that is going to be equal to 4x plus 16. You're going to distribute and solve. And last but not least, if the measure of A, B, C, okay, that's the big one. That's number three. Okay, this one is 5x plus 18. And the measure angle C, CBX, CBX is 2x plus 12. Find the value of x. Okay, and the measure of these angles. So when you find the value for x, you're going to substitute in. So since these are congruent, angle 1 and angle 2, then I know that angle 2 is also 2x plus 12. So 2 times 2x plus 12 is equal to 5x plus 18. Distribute. Okay, solve, and then you have the problem. You have that problem done. Thank you. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to submit this once it's done.